Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost with my dyed fingers. Um, just playing around with some papers on the table and thought you might like to craft along. I am using up some book pages. Yes, I've got a bajillion book pages to use and uh, thought I'd play on the table. And uh, so I, what I'm doing is basically I'm making a, a triple pocket out of two book pages and depending on the thickness of your book pages you might want to use two or four pages but basically um, this is what it looks like it has a little uh, top pocket up here where you can put a long book tag in or a bookmark and then there's a pocket here and a pocket here and these uh, things can be removed and I just decorated it up so it is uh, still drying and I will just uh, remove it for demonstration purposes and we'll make one. They're pretty easy to make. They're quick, they're fun, and they use up those book pages. So let's get to it. So basically, you want to pick a, let me just make sure the viewing is right here. That looks pretty good. Just back it up just a little bit so you can see what's going on. And there's my dog right on cue. Okay, little guy. Um, okay, so make sure we're in focus. Um, we're going to take two book pages and they're regular thickness book pages. You can use thicker or thinner, but you want to make sure that it's going to hold whatever you're going to be making so that it's sturdy enough. Got to have sturdy. Sturdy is important. And what I like to do, this has a lot of white around the edge. So I am just going to use the old tear method here to get rid of the white. Um, these book pages are pretty much white, maybe a little cream colored. So I'm going to want to do some uh, inking on them to age them up a little bit. And uh, you can do multiple book pages at the same time to save yourself time. This is a pretty fast and easy book pocket to make. And you can actually tear five or six or seven or eight pages at the same time so you can reduce t tearing time as well. Um, and I usually make a bunch of these all at once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one the same size and one I'm just going to shave maybe half an inch off and that's going to be the one that nestles in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect about this. It's just the blessing of this craft because perfect is way too hard for me. <laughs> okay, so basically you just ink around the world with the big base bottom piece. This is so easy, you don't need a sewing machine, anything like that. Just some glue and book pages if you've got some book pages to blast through. Then you put that one aside and you take your smaller one and you fold it up a bit. You see in that? Yep, okay. And uh, now you go around the world here and then just open it up and do that little edge there. And now just grab some glue and little thin bead of glue is perfect. Oh, I should have my eye. Where are my reading glasses? Never right here when you need them. That's okay. Who needs them? This is so you don't even need your reading glasses for this one. This is really easy. Now you do U-shaped glue. Don't go across the top. I did that. You're going to seal your pocket. I did that like 10 times earlier today. Um, but there's a trick to that if that happens. And I'll tell you what it is. Okay. I actually did it on the one I showed you. I made the first one right. Then made about six the wrong way. <laughs> I glued the top closed. Okay, so basically what you have here is you have one pocket, two, two pockets. Let's see if that glue sticks. You'll have two pockets. Oh, make sure that's all nice and flat. Bloody flat, flat, stick. Pocket number two. Now you can see this. And then this behind here is going to be pocket number three. And then really up to, it's up to you at this point to decorate as you see fit. And um, you can do that anywhere you like. So that was just a little quickie today. Nothing too big, too exciting. I'll show you the little cheat what to do if you accidentally glue your, your page together. Okay, so here is my, my thingy. And I glued this one together. And all I did was, where is it? The old ruler and exacto. What I did was I just went along here. Oh, did I just mush that? Maybe. Yep, that's still wet. I always do that. Okay, so basically you just go along here and you run your X-Acto blade there to cut an opening. And then you've got your pocket. 
So that's a little emergency backup plan in case needed. But anyway, that was it. Have fun today. Take care. Pam at the Paper Outpost.